Maybe you stay with her, her so crabby. Met her my first shift building planes. Never had a better friend. Trouble with this one? She always speak the truth. Can't help herself. Yeah, it's a terrible affliction. <laughs> Do you believe in energy and manifestation? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> um, do you have an example? I've, yeah, I was just about to say, yesterday we had the premiere and it was such a delightful surprise. And I'd been meditating and manifesting <laughs> delightful um, surprises. And I remember this morning when I was doing my meditation, I said, now you must make a note. You asked for delightful, surprising <laughs> situations and the premiere yesterday was one of them so give thanks and i did <laughs> beautiful why do we need friends like mrs harris and um violet butterfield oh my goodness we so need people like that in our corner they're there for you the good times the tough times the bad times they're just they're solid um they're not flaky <laughs> we know we see a lot of flaky people um so to have somebody like Ada in your corner and look what she did you've seen the movie look what she did in Paris took Paris by storm <laughs> took Dior's house by storm you need people like that we need people like that desperately now these challenging times yeah you know Mrs Harris is a dreamer and she keeps looking for signs everywhere are you looking for signs as well um I'm not looking for them but I see them and I have to acknowledge them <laughs> this morning for a start Have you ever made a decision based on a sign that you've noticed Oh my goodness um I have to say yes I'm very intuitive um if my intuition is telling me something very very strongly um I follow it and um I'm wise enough afterwards to say <gasps> I'm so glad I didn't do that or oh, I'm so glad I did that. So yes, I'm very intuitive, yes. And in terms of energy, um that too is yeah, which is why the first time I met Leslie on set um in the makeup room, the energy was so good with the makeup artist and everything else that I'm like, yes, this is going to work. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you remember a moment in your life where you were like, okay, this is my dream and I need to chase my dream and i'm going all in although everybody on uh, around me is telling me to not do it because it's a stupid decision yeah oh my goodness my career <laughs> um for a start um at the time i was setting off um as a career um as a as an actor um I got told by careers teachers um oh no dear you don't want to be doing that <laughs> you need to do something like become a secretary or something like that or a teacher or something and I just thought well actually no I want to pursue my dream as an actor um and through all the downfalls and everything else I was just going to stick to it um I remember one of the very first jobs I got I remember saying I don't mind if you don't pay me I'm having so much fun doing the job you don't have to pay me and I remember my agent at the time saying no dear you have to be paid for your work no matter how much you're enjoying it so I'm a big believer in going for your dreams chasing them absolutely Isn't it beautiful to being able to live the life that you wanted to live? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm It's been full of ups and downs and lots of lovely surprises, but I wouldn't change it for anything. Anything. Yeah, yeah. How do you deal with um failure? Yeah, that's a tough one. Um I've had to learn that failure is could be your friend because there's lots of lessons to learn from it. So now when something doesn't work out the way I thought or I'd planned, I go back and say okay, well what's the lesson? There's a lesson here. Did you learn the lesson? <laughs> If you didn't, it will come back <laughs> until you learn the lesson. So, do you think you should learn the lesson now? <laughs> so, I tend to do that quite a bit now. Mm. Ever regretted something? I don't think so. um relationships <coughs> personal relationships one or two that i've <laughs> you shouldn't have got yeah but apart from that no no regrets none at all 
everything has contributed to where I am right now here in this amazing energy of um, delicious, um, delightful surprises. So uh, no regrets. <laughs> Your Mrs. Harris is such a cute, kind, and maybe a little naive person. Mm -hmm. And do you think that you, a person could be too kind? Oh, yes, because sometimes if you're too kind, people take advantage of you. But I don't think so. Ada Ada's kind, but if you try to take advantage of her, she stands up for herself. In Jamaican culture, um, we call it talawa. Talawa means you're tiny, but you're strong. And Ada is talawa. <laughs> she look but she talawa. <laughs> Do you know? So you can't take advantage of her. Absolutely not. <laughs> I think there's so much beauty in the ordinary, but everybody mm. wants glamour and prestige and money and success. Mm. And uh, looking at your life as an actress who is successful, who kind of lives this glamour, um, what's the most ordinary thing that you still find beauty in? Oh, my, um, my little local farmer's market on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Um, we've had an amazing summer in the UK this year. So something as simple as that, Sunday morning, have a coffee there and visit the farmer's market and buy fresh produce. Um, something as simple as that and see people with babies and dogs and everybody just enjoying the sunshine and each other. And something as simple as that is really priceless, isn't it? Especially after the lockdown and all the challenges we had. So just sitting there and enjoying watching people. I've got my um, my fresh vegetables and everything. That is priceless for me. Something as simple as that. Mm.